Hello guys, welcome to my channel, The G Lawrence. As you guys know, I'm trying to put a lot more art videos on my channel, so without further ado, welcome to this, the making of High Poly Part 1 of Rail Rifle, a weapon idea that I've come up with that I want to put into Team Fortress 2. Um, the idea is that it's a kind of futuristic style, but quite overly proportioned rail rifle uh, matter accelerator, if you will. So without further ado, let's get on with this uh, making video. So let's get started straight away. As you guys can see, I've got the box model here that I created. Um, I didn't see the point in like showing this, but this is basically a kind of silhouette outline of what I'm going to start with. And I think what I'm going to start with here is a body. Uh, first of all, I'll cut into it using Connect, add a few edges randomly, <laughs> and try and line those up with certain uh, main features on my blueprint. The blueprint was drawn by me. I did it in hand. Uh, put it into Photoshop and then did this very simple outline sketch blueprint. A lot of this design is going to come from my head because it's in my head and I kind of designed it as such. I do have preempted uh, reference images I'm using of railguns and railgun design ideas. But as you can see I'm getting the basic shape of the body by pulling the vertices around, moving them around, lifting them up, scaling them and trying to get the right proportions in the silhouette. Here I'm making the stock by extruding a face down pulling it down to the next edge that's uh, available in the shape, adding an edge to add this, what would be the grip hold at the bottom. I'm going to extrude a face down, pull it right down to the edge there, move the verts around, add an extra edge to uh, add that lower piece down the bottom there. And then once I've done that, I'm going to add a few more edges for the shape course. I think I'll add two edges here in preparation to pull out this the lower piece of the stock. And then have a look, I'm going to add, shrink it down, make the width of it a bit more like it should be. Add an edge in the middle, cut it in half and hit from here I'll have a silhouette that I can work on. <laughs> Remove unnecessary faces at this point in time. I think I'm going to now pull it down, make, make the symmetry, there we go, symmetry it over, I'm going to chamfer this edge here, and from this edge, edge, from this edge I can pull out the faces that I need to create this shape on the bottom of the stock. So I take these edges, using shift click, I use shift and a mouse and I pull the edges out to the end, trying to match up the vertices. I had two more edges just to get that shape there. You can see this lower shape. And with these cross. If you guys have any questions, by all means, comment. Don't forget to comment. If you have any criticisms, please comment. Any suggestions, comment. I noticed that can be quite a clumsy work. So what I'm doing here is I've took those vertices and connected them. I'm now going to change the uh, width of the stock as the stock would be slightly thinner. I'm going to start altering vertices individually now and grouped. So I'm going to slowly just start to manually alter the shape of this to try and get the shape that I want. As you can see I'm only using one blueprint because like I said this is kind of an idea in my head. I've got I've got references that I'm using for the shape and for the uh, the different designs. This pistol grip is kind of based on the design of a PSG-1 sniper rifle pistol grip as it were. But I'm kind of trying to make it my own. I'm going to add a slight edge chamfer here so it's just lift up these vertices a bit so it's a bit more inclined instead of such a sharp edge. This is going to be the high poly that I'm going to go from. Uh, in this first video, I'm just going to work on the body. In the next video, you'll see me, see me move on to the more of the um, more of the uh, difficult sections, of course. I'll add some edges in the middle here for later. Um, and what I'm going to do is symmetry over, I think. Take these vertices. There we go. Get the right symmetry. There we are. So now we have a, I think I've got a decent looking body. So I get the right silhouette that I want. I bring that out with the, uh, using the scale proportions. You select the vertices and scale it out. I think what I should do now is I'm basically going to bring up the top piece. Now I had a, I had a bit of a, a second thought while doing this. Because I thought I'll extrude it and make it that way. Um, and then came up with a, I thought actually no, what I think I'll do, I will do is I then decided to do it the f uh, similar to the way I did in practice which was I made a completely different shape uh, using that shape I basically uh, brought that shape in 
and decided to make it completely a separate to the model, the first pe uh, the body part of the model, and then attach it later on. So once again, I've made a, a box and I've split it into a certain amount of um, edges, and then I'm moving these to line up with corresponding edges on the drawing, just to give me a kind of guidance of where I want to go. And I'm moving edges and vertices around to get shape, adding a single edge in the middle to uh, add a piece of detail, once again something that I used on the practice which I think looked pretty good. Uh, just a, a small detail that, well not small, but a large detail that in game uh, would be noticed and actually I thought would look quite cool. Once again it's a gun that's going to be in TF2 so a lot of uh, larger proportions than normal. So like, you, like I've said I'm moving vertices around here and just trying to get the shape that I want. There's no kind of rules to what I'm doing. I can be quite a clumsy artist, so I do apologise for that. I do make a lot of mistakes then to kind of fix my mistakes, but that's where I'm learning. <coughs> like a lot of artists, I'm still at kind of... <coughs> do Pardon me. I'm still at the starting stage. But um, I think it's going pretty well. I've got the basic shape of the gun, and this is the top part. The scope would sit on this piece, as well as the gas piping would go into the top. Um, this gun design is based on one that I found on the internet as well as in my head. So I've kind of drawn up a gun idea and I've seen a few designs on the internet that I think they look pretty cool. I like, I like the elements of some rail rifles. So, But as you can see here I'm moving the vertices around, trying to get that shape that I want. Um, just trying to give it a, a little bit of extra art detail. And then I'm still going to start doing this end piece by, I think, I kind of decide how to do it, pull it out and then I move around the verses and the edges and try to get that shape at the back there. I'm trying to make sure there's not too many sharp, flat angles, 90 degree angles. I'd like it to be a lot more like a, a lot of like um, slanted edges and some s kind of um, chamfered edges and stuff. So you can see here, uh, like I said, I'm moving the verses around just trying to get the shape. Adding the shape at the front. Again, and in the practice I had a certain shape to the front of this that isn't in the drawing that I'm going to add in. I'm going to add some gas holes which I think look pretty good. Um, I think it's going pretty well so far. I'm just getting the shape into the way I want it. I've just noticed that I need to put another edge in there because it's, it's bringing down this uh, kind of, that kind of bevel in the wrong place. So I've added an edge and moved it in the right place so that it's not interfering with certain other parts of the model. I've used a insert, you selected the faces, then use an insert to insert faces into this model. And then what I'm going to do is level these edges out using this uh, scale tool. And I'm going to try and even out the size of the whole, the size of those squares and delete them. Selecting the loop, I then pull them out to make the holes and the tubes that would be there. And then what I'm going to do is going to flatten out those edges and either, I think I will either mirror over or I think yeah I think we're gonna flatten out the edge so it's all even and then scale it a bit to match the actual size of the gun and then select the corresponding faces on the body that are below the gun below the um, top uh, rail as it were and delete the faces that are necessary I'm going to delete one half of the gun again, so that uh, because a lot of this gun's quite symmetrical, so there's no point in having both halves and trying to model both halves uh, exactly. Later on in the high poly, I will be trying to make things look different, of course, because I don't want everything to look exactly the same. You don't really want everything to be symmetrical perfectly. A lot of the fine details will, of course, look individual. And now getting the vertices, like I said, and I'm trying to line them up and match them up, and uh, I'm using the I'm selecting them with the uh, marquee tool and then I am collapsing the edges together using a shortcut which I've already preset up but you can see the collapse button is in the vertices subtool here in the editable poly subtool sorry here I'm kind of moving around the shape trying to make sure it all lines up of course I go through different stages of uh, trying to make all these edges and all these vertices match there you see again, I'm, I make a little mistake, I think actually no, I could do this and this might work a bit better. Like I said previously, I kind of, I can be quite clumsy. I will try to neaten my style up, I do apologise. So I've basically cleaned up that action by a 
cutting into the surface, deleting faces, then adding faces, then removing faces again, and just moving it around in general, making polys and edges line up. I'm gonna pull this art edge down because I feel like it'd be a lot it look a lot nicer if it's a nice uh, a nice kind of slant there. Pull this along. I've got kind of like a, a design again in the practice I made where I kind of had a a face which I use a smoothing group to make it look sharp that I thought looked quite nice at the back there. Again I'm gonna straighten up this edge so it matches symmetry over on the right edge. Oh I made a little mistake there so of course delete that. I know that I can just hide it don't you don't have to delete the modifier but I'm kind of one of these people who does I don't know why I do apologize for that. You select all the vertices which need to be lined up and scale it again symmetry, turn it to add a poly and then what I'll do is I'll try to pull back that shape so just scale it in again, uh, mess with these vertices a bit, try and get, make the stock the thinness that I want, scale those in slightly, there you go. So the body the body shape's coming together quite nicely now, I think it's looking quite nice, the stock's at the size that I want and the body of the gun's looking quite cool. Um, I'm going to select these edges and scale them in like that. As you guys have guessed, this is uh, just part one of the series. In the next part, I will be moving on to more of the detailed parts, but for now, we'll just look. This is just a play on the body. Okay, so just going to collapse these edges in, scale those down, and then hit collapse. Select those faces and change the smoothing group so they're a lot flat, sharper. I'm quite happy with that. Hey guys, thanks for watching this part one of the making of this high poly model rifle, rail rifle. Um, I've been Lawrence G. As you guys know, I'd like you to comment and ask me questions. Let me know what you think. Ask me questions about how I did things, what I did, where I did things. If you found the video a bit too fast, I'll slow it down for the next video and such. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please share, guys, like the usual. But uh, join me next time for part two where I'll be moving through onto the pistol grip working on the magwell and working on a few more details on the body before moving on to the next section. But thank you very much for watching this episode guys, take it easy.